Welcome to the Parenting Power Podcast, supporting parents with the real-life tools they need to raise the confident, interdependent people the world needs. Gail Bell and Julie Friedman-Smith interview experts who share their knowledge to assist parents in creating a home environment where kids can thrive. Hello and welcome to the Real Life Parenting Podcast. I'm Julie Friedman-Smith. And I'm Gail Bell. Today's episode is brought to you by Beaner's Fun Cuts for Kids. Parenting is hard, haircuts shouldn't be. Visit beanersfuncuts.com for a location near you. So today we're going to share some tips around the words, I'm bored. Children will say that at some point in time. With summer coming up, we often hear it more often because they have more free time. So since we know it's coming, we have an opportunity to plan ahead for it and also to plan our response when we actually do hear it. In the next little while, before our kids get bored or if they've already been bored and you're just listening to this podcast now, set aside some time to create a what can I do list. And this could be a list of books they want to read, games to play, craft projects that have been sitting in the closet since Christmas, puzzles and models to be built, pictures to be drawn. You want a good variety between things that the kids can do with you but also things that they can do on their own. And if these things are up on a high shelf, you want to get them down somewhere where kids can have access to them so that instead of coming to you when you're in the middle of doing something, they can access those things on their own. When we make a list and we put it up where the kids can see it and we work with them to make that list, then they know what they can do. If they're feeling like they don't know what to do, they can go to that list. And when they come to you and say, I'm bored, instead of saying, if you're born, you can say, that's why we made the what can I do list. I know you can find something to do there. I'll be with you in 20 minutes or whatever your timeline is. And when you tell them you're going to be with them in a certain amount of time, you need to be there. So set a timer, give yourself some kind of a cue to be there when you say you're going to. Another thing to think about is that it's really okay for kids to be bored. Being bored leads to creativity, problem solving, daydreaming, rest, so many things that can happen from lying on a bed and staring up your ceiling or lying on the grass and staring at the clouds. It's not our job to entertain our kids. We don't have to worry when they're bored. We can teach them how to occupy their time and we can also teach them that they're going to be just fine not knowing what to do and we don't need to hand them a screen every time they're bored. There are many other ways. And then the last thing to remember is when young kids say, I'm bored, what they may be saying is, I want to be with you, which is fine. So you, your response back can be, sounds like you want some attention or sounds like you want to do something together. We can do that in a few minutes. I know that you can figure out a way with your list to figure out what you're going to do between now and then. There are lots of ways to support your kids in learning how to deal with being bored this summer. That's right. So take the time to make that I can do list before the summer starts and try to make that list with your child. So it's just not another list of what you have decided they should or can do. So make that with them. And don't think that one of those lists doesn't work for your teenagers as well. This has been another Tools for the Trade. To learn more about Parenting Power, check out our website, parentingpower.ca, visit our Facebook page, or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Parenting Power. 